Okay, so hi everyone. Um, I don't have any fancy slides like the other teams do to show you, but what I am hoping to do is show you some deployment renderings and um, what was going on. So this sub team of the mega cheering wear team, uh, it was myself, Joanna Leng, Francis Cooper and Stefan Druska. And this came out of a, one of the um, idea generation discussions yesterday. And um, we wanted to talk about how so many events are now moving online. Um, but uh, um, so how can we best capture the knowledge of what's going on in the open source community where a lot of events have to happen online due to like geographical reasons and just provide a resource um, for people who want to develop an online um, event. And we decided that this would be best into the Turing way. And we basically ran this as a mini book dash event. We just did a crazy amount of content generation. I am seriously so proud of my team for the amount of stuff that they've written today. So um, we have this structure from, um, this was originally developed in the idea session yesterday. And we were thinking about the types of things that might happen at a conference or a workshop event and such and breaking these down. And the idea is then someone could come along to this and like pick and choose what kind of events they want to run. And then each of these have like discussions, uh, a discussion around what you like the features you might need, like breakout rooms, chats, um, and like we were talking about feature matrices of like which available tools had what features or whether they were open source or not, or whether there was like um, a price associated with them. Um, so we had all of these ideas and we've been working in a pull request. Well, first of all, we were working in a HackMD, which I've now closed. Um, but yeah, just generating content after we decided that we were happy with the structure we all kind of picked an event uh, activity type that we felt comfortable with and just started um, writing away. Um, Francis also as well wrote up a lovely chapter on um, how can we simulate or replicate or do something new in terms of social interactions for online events. So here is the deployment preview of our new chapter of the Turing Way. It's called Collaborating at Online Events. Um, we have not finished the full page yet, but we do have a very long, we've managed to get six different types of activities that might happen. Um, so we have like asynchronous collaboration text, text document um, talking about, you know, HackMD, Google Docs, etc. We have like panel discussions and such. And um, we have things like microphones set up are they amplifying how do we track time and um how can you get the session chair to tell you about time in a reasonable way we did not think about holding up fingers so that will be a new contribution <laughs> um similarly again we've got poster sessions um presentations and then if i show you our social interactions we have a nice list of um different things we can do we have icebreakers, breakout chats, and what I think is a really great idea of virtual cultural trips, um, because a lot of the museums are closing. They have now got um, these online facilities where you can walk around and examine some of the, um, the exhibits online. Um, we've got also ideas for conference dinner or pub trips and things that you might only be able to do online. So things like the Zoom backgrounds we've all been playing with and there was um, Pictionary as well. Um, so this is now in an open pull request on the Turing Way website, at, um, all built by Jupiter Book. And we really hope that this will continue to grow and continue to help future online event organizers. Thank you very much.